All right, welcome back, everybody. Hey, hey. Yep. Yeah. And everybody calm down, okay. because we have a big movie star <laughs> <laughs> sitting in studio with us. Yeah, it's hard to do. stay calm. I, I know. know. I am yeah. not calm. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty soon, his uh, house is going to be on those uh, Hollywood star maps. Oh, I, I hope so. Oh, please. Yeah. I would love that. <laughs> hope so. That, you then would you know like you've that. made it. You, you, would, yeah. you would like that. Yeah. Someone asked me, someone was telling me, what, who are you in this story? Seth Rogen or Snoop Dogg? Seth Rogen and Snoop Dogg were standing on a corner. Yeah. And a, a, a Stars bus came up. Like a, a Hollywood Stars bus yeah. came up. Mm-hmm. And Seth Rogen took off running. And Snoop Dogg got in and started taking pictures with everyone. <laughs> that's oh, awesome. that's cool. And they're like, who are you? I go, I'm Snoop. I'm Snoop in that story. In I, don't, that story. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, don't, I don't like, you know, I don't understand how people don't like fame. It's really cool. Yeah. That's, a, <laughs> exactly. that's what Greg says all the time. It would yeah. be so yeah. fun. You know, like it's, you hear these stories uh, about, uh, you know, celebrities talking about like, like, oh my God, they were taking my, my picture. picture. Yeah. You know, uh, no. bullets don't come out of cameras, right? Yeah, yeah. And, 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 it would be fun. And all it is is someone saying, "I, I like you." I'm a fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. it's yeah. really cool. Yeah. yeah. Oh, by the way, <laughs> I don't understand any of it. But if you're so you, uh, just tuning in, I didn't even get a chance to oh, inter- yeah. uh, see. This oh, yeah. is the thing. Just we didn't even get a chance. My bad. My bad. Yep. All right. Uh, Wait. Let's see if I'm so big they just recognize okay. my voice. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Now, if you took your shirt off, but it's radio. And yeah, you, you wouldn't be able to see that. But uh, yeah. ladies and gentlemen, the machine, Bert Kreischer. Hey. Is here. Thank you, thank you for having me. Thank you for having me. Of course, you will have an open invite to the show anytime. I know, dude. Uh, how exciting! The machine in theaters this weekend. Yes. How, like, how long is the process from the time that mm-hmm. like you guys like talked about this, the first meeting, until like uh, now it's coming out? Can we guess? Uh, yeah, sure. I, I would think like. Four years? Yeah, four uh, years. Oh, yeah. four, four years? years? Four years. Yeah. Wow. Four years. I pitched it right next door. I, that's where yeah. Legendary is. I pitched, wow. I, I pitched it on accident. Did I, you really? Yeah. I, I, I had already pitched the machine everywhere, and everyone said no. Everyone said no. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, I guess that's not going to be my movie, but I still want to make a movie. That would be right. cool. <laughs> and so I pitched three other movies to this guy, Kale, over at Legendary. And he's just, Kale's, you'll, you'll meet him on tomorrow. Okay. He's just, he's hilarious. Yeah. And he goes, okay, I'll make a movie. I was like, wait, what? Awesome. He, goes, he goes, which one do you want to make? I want to make a movie with you. I think it'd be fun. Which one do you want to make? I said, I, 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 if you're saying I can make a movie, I don't want to make any of them. I want to make the machine. He's like, yeah. How come you didn't pitch that? And I was like, I, I did. Just, I go, yeah. no, I go, I didn't pitch it. I didn't, oh, wasn't you didn't one pitch of the ones. Okay. So he was like, yeah. He's like, yeah. why didn't you pitch that? And I go, I don't know, man. I'm just tired of pitching it. And everyone said no. And I go, and what? Like, what if it's a hit? And then I get kidnapped by the Russian mafia. And he looks at me, his eyes light up and he goes, Soul. Yeah. <laughs> I go, what? He goes, that's your movie. It's yes. the Godfather 2 meets the hangover. You get, I love it. I that's walked out, awesome. I didn't even know what I sold. Wow. And so from that moment, and I got to tell you, man, everyone that worked on it kind of did all the work. Like, I, yeah. I, I got scripts, I gave, gave notes, but like everyone that worked on that movie did all the work. That's why I don't have a problem promoting the movie. Here's the deal with promoting movies is like, I understand the vulnerability that goes into when you put yourself out like that, when you're just literally a talking head promoting yourself. Everyone, go to the movies this weekend and see my movie, The Machine. You can get your movie tickets at themachine.movie to pre-order them, but please come out and support me. Like that's, That is the talking point. Sure. Mm-hmm. Here's the thing that I also understand is like, and Arnold Schwarzenegger told me this. See, he's a big movie star right now. He's, he's like name dropping yeah. people. We're, when we, we well, work, I was hanging out with Arnold. And I know, like, right? I saw, Super I saw, casual. We worked, we worked yeah. out in Venice Beach. Yeah, Did you see that? It's yeah. awesome. Did you see that? Like, yeah. Oh, hold on. It's Bert and Arnold Schwarzenegger yeah, and pumping iron <laughs> on Venice Beach. I'm yeah. like, how did this happen? My wife called him. My wife Really? Was, yeah, my wife was like, was like, what if he worked out with Arnold? Because I've been talking about doing steroids all nonstop. Right. <laughs> <laughs> and so, yeah. and, so uh, and so she just called UTA and was like, who represents Arnold? And it's <laughs> randomly, it's my agent. So they oh. got him in touch and they were like, oh, wow. would he like to do something? And then the, the, his team's really cool. They like put a clip of me talking about him doing steroids on two bears one game. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> and me and Tom are going, he'll never see this. Yeah. <laughs> and then they showed him the Kool Aid cl- yeah. Kool Aid clip and he yeah. lost it. And uh, then, that's and one so, of my favorite clips. And so then we did, we worked out and we just promoted. It was fun, man. No so film cool. crews, just phones. Yeah. Arnold's, mm. Arnold is the consummate movie star because he gave everyone. What they needed from him, yeah. Like no, mm-hmm. like don't put your cameras away. It was like, <laughs> it was yeah. like he came, and then they were like, "Hey, uh, governor," and he's like, "Yes, yes, uh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> get down." He was just yeah. awesome. Yeah. <laughs> he was awesome. Talked about him. The one thing he said was, uh, "You're promoting it, not not just for you, because you do benefit, but for for the the ad 
yeah. who, if this uh, movie does well, they get opportunities. For the produ- all the oh, people wow. that worked on this movie, yeah. they then get opportunities if this movie does well. And all their hard work, you're promoting it for them. And I went, I have no t- problem being a talking head at that point. Yeah. But you do understand those guys like Joaquin Phoenix who like get in their shell. And right. You, yeah, I, mean, I do get it, but I'm not that guy. Yeah. yeah. Right. Like what we were talking about the very beginning, like uh, being famous would be cool. I think it'd be fun. You it's, know? It's, I'll, I'll tell you, it's I, I've had it and I've not had it. Mm. Uh, not having it is, re- anonymity is like precious. People forget how beautiful anonymity is. I took it from both of my daughters. I, I didn't realize I was doing it. Yeah, but, it, but, but, but you talking, can't appreciate it until you've had the other side though, right? Yeah. Mm. And so and so I've had anonymity. Then you have fame and then you're like, you're like, yeah, it's, there's some problematic things. Like going to the airport can be a little like, a little overwhelming, but mm-hmm. you know, uh, but it's so nice when like someone's like, "Hey, uh, like, where, what did I do?" The uh, oh, I went to the Greek. This is the best thing in the world. I get, a, I, I'm talking to my wife. We're at our office, and I go, "Hey, do I open up at the Greek?" And this, is a, and I just called, and because I performed at the Greek, yeah. I sold yeah. the Greek out. So I was like, "Hey, can I go see the show tonight?" And they're like, "Sure." Yeah, <laughs> it's awesome. Is it sold out? And they're like, "Yeah, yeah don't yeah. worry, we got tickets yeah. for you." Of course. And then, and then I, I go, "Do I need a parking pass?" And they're like, "No, just pull up." Aww. So I pulled wow. up, and yeah. I'm like, and I'm, "I'm confused." I'm like, "I go, <laughs> hey, what is this?" I go, "Hey," and the guy goes, "Hey, Mr. Chrysler, park anywhere you want." And I was like, "For real?" He was like, "Yeah, you worked here." Wow. Yeah. Yeah. So wow. I, I parked where the manager parks, and then he goes, yeah. "Just when you see the line, just go around it to the front. They'll have your tickets for you." And I go around. The guy goes, "The machine, get up here." And I was like. Mm-hmm. It was like that's cool. Yeah, that's and then awesome. and then Dwight Yoakam's manager came out and was like, "Hey, thanks for coming." And you're like, uh. oh, this, "I don't see this song. I'll, g- I'll give you a better one. I'll give you a better one. Right, There's right. a better one." <laughs> so we go to Tiffany Haddish as a, a fundraiser, right? Yeah. Uh, oh, I saw that with uh, Joe Coy. Joe Coy. Yeah. Uh, Jimmy Joe Kimmel. Coy. Okay, I'm gonna tell you the fun part in a second. But okay. Tiffany's gonna raise gonna raise uh, fifty thousand dollars, and so she has a thousand dollars for every foster kid. To get mm-hmm. help them get luggage and fill it with all the stuff they need. Uh-huh. Luggage is very important to a foster kid. Check out She Ready Foundation. That's Tiffany's fa- foundation. She was a foster child. She She's, Ready. She Ready is the she name ready. of the found- okay. foundation. And she said that getting luggage when you're a foster kid, you don't have luggage. You just have bags, yeah. and you feel really it's weird bad. going into someone's house yeah. with, with just bags. bags. Uh-huh. Okay. And so she wants to give those foster kids. Lu- she said once she got a piece of luggage, she felt like she had her first home. Wow, yeah. really kind of cool. She's auctioning off. Bags for a thousand dollars to help a foster care kid, but it's going slow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It's going real slow. <laughs> and <laughs> Paris Hilton's waiting. And so <laughs> Joe Coy just goes up to the mic and he goes, "Let's speed this process up. <laughs> you want to raise fifty thousand dollars?" He goes, "I got twenty five. If Bert's got twenty five, I'm like, son of a bitch." <laughs> <laughs> And, so, and here's what here, and so, oh my and, God. And so then I go up, I take my shirt off, and of course, you know, I promote my movie. Yeah, I, yeah of course. He goes, Bert, do you have 25? I go, go see my movie, The Machine, <laughs> only in movie theaters this weekend. And then I go, well, I got that 20. For the crew. You did yeah, that for yeah. all the no, people. For the crew. For the crew. Yeah. For the crew. I, go, I go, I got 25, and Jimmy Kimmel's got 25, and Jimmy Kimmel's like, what? how did I get pulled in? Ah, that rules. We ended up raising $125,000 for these foster kids. Oh, wow. That's cool. Awesome. But here's the cool part the cool part would be that you got twenty five thousand dollars to drop like that you're like okay here that's you. a cool that's part cool. i don't have a problem with charity I, I yeah, always yeah. charity. i have no yeah. problem with, with mm-hmm. that and so um <laughs> and so then the cool part is snoop performs and then he gets done and he and i'm like hey i said to my wife let's go hang out with snoop and she was like <laughs> what i go i i know him mm-hmm. so and every, she's like yeah but everyone knows everyone i yeah. go no but like come on so we just i tell joe coy i go let's go hang with snoop he goes no you're out of your mind. No one's just, you can't just go hang with Snoop. I go, I can. I think I can. I, I'm going to test this. I'm going to test this fame power out in a second. Yeah, yeah. yeah, and if you say that, that's typically how it works. Like, mm-hmm. act like you're supposed to be there, right? Yeah. 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 So I go to the back, and there, the security guard's there. Not Snoop's, just some security guard. I go, hey, I want to go hang out with Snoop. And he goes, no. Nah. I said, no, I, I, I think I am. And he goes, no. Nah. I said, y- yell for Papa. And he goes, huh? I said, just yell for Papa. And he goes, What? I said, just say, Papa Bert's here. So he turns around and goes, is there a Papa here? <laughs> this jacked, huge dude goes, yeah. Uh, he goes, you know Bert? And he's like, oh, yeah, tell Bert to come on back. <laughs> yeah, oh, nice. nice. We went back, we hung with Snoop for 45 minutes, got high. I was going to say, uh, how high did you get? Yeah. So high, yeah. I smoked his weed, which is dipped in something called gold. <laughs> yeah. And I don't remember an even- the yeah. evening. Dude. Oh, wow. So <laughs> Menace, as you know, Every year celebrates his birthday month. Not even yeah. a birthday, birthday weekend, birthday week. It's a birthday month. Yeah, and I do a and he puts a, list, yeah. yeah, he puts a wish list out there. And one year it was he wanted to smoke weed with Snoop. 
Well, mm-hmm. it got back to Snoop. Snoop's like, yeah, come on down. Yeah. He went to his like warehouse compound yeah, type compound place. Oh. Into a studio. And, and then I hung out there for like all six night. hours straight. And then came right to work. And I was the next on morning. another planet. Mm-hmm. Like the, the, the joints were like, I don't know, a foot and a half long. It Dude, was crazy. That's the beauty of like Snoop is that you could have court the next day. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> but if you got high with Snoop, yeah, you could yeah. be in court and go, Your Honor, I, I was just hanging out with Snoop, so I'm a little high. And he's yeah. like, I totally understand. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I get it. People would say they want to have a drink with me, and I go, well, I drink a lot. You should find that can I can make that happen. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like it's not a stretch. Like, yeah, uh, go, yeah pull up. Yeah, yeah. let's go. Yeah. yeah. The machine. Burt Kreischer is here. Oh, mm-hmm. Nice. Mm-hmm. Not just a persona. Now it's a movie. Yes. Yeah. The machine in theaters this weekend. And uh, we, were, we were talking about just how exciting that must be. I, I mentioned it earlier this week about, you know, not only are you in a movie, the movie is you. Like, the movie is about you. Yeah. You know, it's kind of like, uh, you know, Joe Coy, he had his movie. And, like, that's got to be such a trip, you know, um, you know, just as a person who just grew up like anybody else grows up. And then you're, you're doing your thing in comedy and whatever else. But now here it is. It's a movie, a big Hollywood premiere, which is happening tomorrow. Uh, Mark Hamill plays your father. Yeah. yeah. In this movie is <laughs> next like, level. Like when you're when you're laying in bed and nobody else is there, not to be you know uh, entertaining anybody else or whatever. You're just yeah. there with your own thoughts. What are you thinking? <laughs> like when when like, <laughs> does it, it has it has it hit you yet? Yeah. I mean honestly, like I think that'd be like such a trip. No, it hasn't hit me. I don't think it'll hit me. I don't think it'll hit me until the premiere. I think yeah. that's when it'll hit me. I think I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm like real close to crying a lot. Yeah, like, I'm just uh, a, like here's oh, the I thing. I, I'm a very honest person <laughs> with everything, even yeah. my emotions. And so, uh, so I'm I'm on the I'm on the I'm in a weird place too because I've I've been borrowing all the energy from like next week uh-huh. to make sure I can really be in a great place for this week. Yeah. So I'm sure the second they I said to my wife, I wish that the they I could go up to the front of the theater and go, hey, I hope you guys enjoyed the movie, and someone could chloroform me. <laughs> and then take me to a rehab facility yeah. and then just put me under for like a week uh-huh. and then wake uh-huh. me up and go, you're hydrated, you've rested, you're good, like you're totally good, then now you can go back to work. Because uh-huh. like, I could use mm-hmm. the, the break. I think I'll probably mm-hmm. start crying. Yeah. Uh, but do you believe it? I mean, it's like one of those things that's hard it. to believe. Yeah. I don't believe it. I, yeah. I keep saying, uh, yeah, I don't believe it. I keep Dude, s- you, made, you made me tear up. You posted the clip where it's like you're talking about how like, you know, right before you're about to go on stage and you look yeah. up and you see the name of the arena, whatever, yeah. and, like, it really kind of hits you there. And, like, I'm really going to enjoy this because I may never have this opportunity again. Like, I don't know. I told everybody. I'm, like, I don't know if I'm becoming a chick <laughs> or what. Like, dude, <laughs> I'm telling you, like, I'm not a person who gets, like, super emotional on stuff. And, like, I felt that. Well, you know, I got the first time that ever happened to me, uh, I don't know. It's, I have an acute awareness of, like, of reality sometimes, like, where we're, like, do you know when when a mom screams in a mall and you realize something really bad has happened? That scream, yeah. yeah. I I, fe- I can f- I have that feeling a lot. Like the not the scream, mm. but the idea that oh, this is very real. I remember I was doing uh for Birth Conquer season two, season two. I was going to do an episode at Knott's Berry Farm, and I was in a town car, and I had a very acute realization because it, you know it's it's a network. I was like, this may be the last time I get to drive in a town car. Mm-hmm. Like you should, I should really appreciate yeah. this. So I'm gonna be going back to the comic yeah. where like I'm getting picked up by the manager. This is nice. I feel important. Really drink it in, and I did. And I and I and I. And, but I'm, I was aware of it. And even with with my, with my like when I got my man cave, I go. This might be the greatest thing that ever happened to me. So like, <laughs> so like, sit here and enjoy it. And I keep doing that. I keep doing that. I did it with theaters. I did it with sold out clubs. I did it with standing ovations where yeah. you go. This might be the last time. Yeah. Uh, the arenas have really knocked me off my ass because. It is a an insane experience to be squatted down, looking up and seeing yeah. all the Celtics jerseys up there, yeah. and know that there's 19,000 people in this place waiting for you. And I and I am hyper aware that with arenas, you you probably are only going to do that once. Uh-huh. You, not a lot of not a lot of comics other than Joe Coy do continuous arena tours. It's just it's a it's a it's a it's a tough bill to pay. Yeah. It's everything's a tax on that. Yeah. Like it's just it's overwhelming. And with this movie, I I was told when I when we went to shoot this movie, uh, I, the first night I wasn't going to drink. And my producer Kale goes, "What are you doing?" I said, "I'm, I'm I think I'm going to be sober and lose weight." Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, "No, you're not. No, no you're not. Yeah. That's not who I hired. Yeah. He goes, I didn't hire sober skinny Bert. I hired party fun Bert." He goes, right. "He said to me, I can't I can't promise you this movie is going to be good or bad. I don't know. We don't know that at this point. 
Uh, what I can promise you is if you have a good time, it'll show up on screen. He said, yeah. you got to realize this may be the only movie you ever make in your yeah. life. So if you're not enjoying every second, then you're doing it wrong. Yeah. And I went, oh. Because yeah. there's so many people that go, I'm in the movies. I'll just This, mm, this is the yeah. first one I'll do. Can't wait till I do my next one. Right. I'm and then just, what happens? Yeah. I'm, I'm just yeah. like, I'm like a, and I don't mean this in a branding way to try to go, I'm this blue collar. Con. I'm not. I'm a reg. Mm -hmm. I'll tell you everything. I think. I think horrible things. Yeah. I think fancy things. I, I, I just flew to. I, what? I just flew to, to uh, Austin private. So like I'm not I'm not Ooh. trying to I'm not trying to I'm not no, trying to brag now, okay, and I'm not trying to be go. a regular yeah. guy. I'm just yeah. telling you for real. I fly private. Look at him. Dude, yeah. every time I, every time I fly private, I take pictures. Yeah. 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 And and another comic goes, "Yo, don't do that. Don't do that. It alienates you from your fans." I go, "No, no. Uh, no, 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 no. That's what people do when they get on a private jet. Yeah. They take pictures. Oh, yeah. Everyone cuz it may be the only time yes. you get to do this. Yeah. Absolutely. This may be your one time. Yep. And this movie, this premiere, it may be the only time that well, I'm, now you're going to get me. You're going to get okay. me crying. Oh. And you're going to get me, I guarantee. Maybe the only time <laughs> oh, <laughs> that, uh, that my parents are both alive. Yeah. My, everyone in my family is healthy and happy. No one has any drama. My daughters are still young enough to, to, not, to not pay taxes on it in their head and, and just appreciate it. And, 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 all, and, all, uh, it's, so, and this may be the only time. And this is my movie. This is my story. Yeah. And, and maybe the only time that people are listening to this that go, Dude, I know this guy. And I love this guy. I'm gonna go support him. My next yeah. movie, they may be like, "Oh, he's changed" or whatever. Right. This is the one where they go, "This guy is." I I've listened to him on this show. He's a real dude. He's a real dad. Yeah. His kids go to school in the valley. Like, he I'm gonna go it. support yeah. him. This may be the only time that happens for me. So if I don't if I don't sit back and drink it in, yeah. then I'm doing it wrong. Yeah, like yeah. I'm just doing it wrong. Like that's what the whole thing is. Is and by the way, you can micro that and think that about life. I think it about life. You're not guaranteed tomorrow at all. And, and but we all think we are. We all sit with this thing like when you hear someone died, you go, Whew, not me. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but it will be. It Someday. will be. And yeah. you don't know when that's happening. Yeah, there's a so, one hundred percent chance that you will die. There's a hundred percent chance that's 100%. happening. Uh -huh. And yeah. if you don't wake up every morning and go, uh, wow, I got today. Tim Dillon once told me, he goes, I was talking about being stressed out, and he goes, Why would you ever be stressed out? Bert, today's your greatest day of your life. You're the most famous you've ever been, the most successful you've ever been. Your wife's the hottest she'll ever be in the future. You're the, you're the most attractive you've ever going to be in the future. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Your kids aren't on drugs yet. Yeah. Like, he broke it down and I went, yeah. I'm killing it today. Yeah. Yeah. I'm yeah. killing it today. So, yeah, I am. I will get emotional this weekend. I will have a blast. I'm going to go <laughs> surprise people at movie theaters. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm going to do all That's of awesome. it because awesome. it's the time that uh, – it's the only time that it's going to – and and if we're mm -hmm. talking about real life, this is the – if I get to do any of them, this is the first one. This is the one I'll remember the most. Yeah, of course. Yeah, yeah. You always course. remember your first time headlining. I sure. love yeah. that you yeah. brought up your parents because you and I are, well, I'm a little older than you. But it's rules that they're still here. They're yeah. still alive. And that is such a big deal. We're flying them out first class. That's awesome. And and, and we've got a party bus. And my dad's going to, my dad's going to like, my dad's going to get high with Snoop. Yeah. <laughs> like, it, there's like, it, so there's cool. so many things that are positive right now. I feel like I've honestly gotten more perspective on things in my life from watching you like on um on social media and whatnot and you sharing this kind of vulnerability and stuff like that that i have with any kind of therapy i've ever been to and i've been oh. to i've been to a lot like that whole idea of like really stopping to appreciate where you are and what you're doing and being in that moment i have a really hard time ever doing that yeah, and i can really. so i enjoy nothing really yeah yeah, yeah. And so doesn't. like and so I, I i watch guys like you and i go man i gotta be more like bert Oh, and I, really, like, kind of just enjoy the mm -hmm. instead of instead of just waiting for this shoe to drop and go like, well, they're never going to do this again. Yeah. And it's because it make it a complete negative thing. Like, yes, this may never happen again, but I'm going to enjoy this right now. Oh, I, w I woke up yesterday and I said to myself, I said, I got a text from some friends. I w let's go day drinking. Uh, can we come <laughs> over to your house and have a drink? And I was like, oh, that's boring. I go, let's mm -hmm. sparkle it up. Let's give it a little razzle dazzle. Razzle dazzle. Mm -hmm. Yep. And I said, what would be fun? Like, let's go. My initial thought was, let's go see highlights. That's what we do in Florida. And then I was like, what about the dog tracks? And then someone wrote, San Anita's 30 minutes away. Right. And I went, mm -hmm. and they go, gates start at 1. And we're like, yo, everyone hit the treadmill. Everyone work out. Let's earn this. <laughs> and then let's run out to San Anita and go watch the ponies. Yes. And we went out there, and there were people mm -hmm. dressed up nice. They were, like, dressed mm -hmm. up in Sunday nice. Yeah. And they were taking pictures. And I was like, dude, they're living their life. Yeah. yeah. And, and, and it was the coolest <laughs> thing. And we went out. 
gambled. The food's good out there. The, it was. It's beautiful. It's old school. It's a throwback. You don't see buildings like that anymore where they're smoking inside. Yeah. Because like everything's outside. <laughs> it was crazy, man. But, yeah, I try. You got to. I feel like you have to. Yeah, at least if, you have fun. Yeah. Dude, I have, I have so much fun. I have so much fun in life. That when I at my funeral, I'm bummed that I'm not gonna be there. I know I'll be there, but you'll be there. Like I wanna yeah. be, I wanna fake my death just, oh, just to go yeah. to your yeah. funeral. Yeah. Do you know what I think enhances your fun though? Is you make sure everyone else has fun. Well, I I I was trying to I was trying to isolate that because I um I do that cooking show, something's burning, and someone mm-hmm. said, Do you like cooking? And I said, no, no, but I like people liking it. Like mm-hmm. I like giving, I like the taking, social aspect. I like yeah, taking but, care of someone. Yeah, I love. Like I do this thing called ghost biting. Like I'll make my daughter's uh, uh, breakfast sandwiches, and then I'll go, "Hey, you like that?" And they're like, "Yeah, great." And when they take their first bite, as the cook eating nothing, I just, in the air I go, <laughs> <laughs> and I just ghost bite. And my daughters are like, uh, "What are you doing?" He's, do, he's doing like as if he's <laughs> like, eating. Yeah. 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 He's like yeah. lip syncing. But that's eating. the yeah. thing with com. That's why I'm in comedy. Is I like to mm-hmm. make people happy. I like to. Yeah. I like. To p- make people happy, I like when people come over and and then I can make them a drink. I like making a nice like uh like a nice like I made salmon the other day with this nice little mm. like lemon uh, mustard garlic mm. topping. I love cooking steaks and cutting yeah. them up and seeing people go ooh those yeah. are good. I love that energy yeah. of just entertaining people and making sure people are having a good time. I'm not a cynic like I'm not the angry comic and I I want I tried for a second to be the guy like. What's up with that? Mm-hmm. And I and I have those things, but I still go, that's ah, not my energy. My energy no. is positive. I want yeah. it to be positive. It is the Woody Show. We got Burt Kreischer, the machine. Hey. Yeah. yeah. He was here. Of course, uh, it's all been about uh, the machine, his movie, which is in theaters this weekend. Congratulations on that. Thank you. Get out of the house this weekend. Get out of the house yeah. and go disappear in a movie theater. We spent money so that you can enjoy this in a movie theater. Yes. It, it's, it'll be worth the price of admission because it is a high action comedy that is it is like a runaway train with Mark Hamill, myself, a great crew. Go see the movie. Go yeah. see the movie. Go yeah. see the movie. Big screen I it. See, yeah. uh, I read that Martin Ford is in it. How yeah. massive is that dude in He's person? Huge. Like, I know people might not know the name, but they know they've seen him online. Yeah. This dude uh-huh. is like. Covered in tats. He's, he's six eight. Six eight. <laughs> Massive. Jack. Like Jeez. Jack. Did you see his penis? <laughs> <laughs> oh, a jack. Is it huge? Well, you're at, he Bart's big on penises these days. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. If you follow him on uh, any other social media, I, you, he loves Shut showing up. off. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I did. I did see his penis. You yeah. did? did? How big was it? Is it like proportionate? It's actually pretty regular. <laughs> what? Like it's like for compared to his size. Yeah. Like, it's yeah. Kind of, like it's, I mean, if you put that on my body, I'd have a hog. Yeah. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. If you got close to it. Yeah, it's, it's twelve inches. It looks normal on him. Yeah. Right. It's, it's, his hands are massive. Yeah. You don't want us. Dude, it's gonna be huge. Yeah. It's, well, I saw. He showed me a picture of it. No. <laughs> I'm sorry, Martin. He Dude. showed me. Yeah. We were. We were this guy, I have Ford, a picture Google. of my yeah. of my junk that I photoshopped. Right. I was gonna say, yeah, how yeah. do you know it wasn't like face tuned or something? Yeah. No, no, no. Because he was showing it to me. He was showing it to me from the morning. He, I think he took a picture and sent it to his wife. I'm sorry, Martin. <laughs> but it, was, it was rock hard, and I was like, I was like, nice man, nice, nice. nice. Piece. Good grab. Yeah, like what do you say? Hey man, I want to see my penis? And they show it to you. It's funny. That's cool, uh, man. Uh, uh, nice. Yeah, but yeah, like nice. in his own. <laughs> Like yeah, his own body it probably looks proportional. It looks proportional. Like, yeah, yeah, again on that's what Bert said. Like, yeah. yeah, you think that like Sha- I think Shaq's got a regular sized junk for his body, <laughs> yeah. which is yeah, yeah. ridiculously big still. Yeah. Yeah. Right, but right. it's not it's not it's not six inches. Yeah, mm-hmm. it's like twelve. But yeah, he's sure. also seven feet tall. Right. Yeah. So it looks you're like oh that's not that big. You're like oh it's still big. Yeah. <laughs> Speaking of uh, penises, I uh, you know, Greg reminded me I had a question for you because we have a question out to our listeners like a homework topic. Um, it's uh, National Masturbation Day on Sunday. Yeah. And uh, the question is, what is the oddest place you've knocked one out? Oh, one the out? oddest place for real is, is in the ocean. In the, o- oh, oh, wow. in the ocean. Wow. I've done that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It was, uh, we were young and, uh, and I was hooking up with a chick and it, it kind of just stopped. Yep. Uh-huh. And I was like, cool. And she's like, I think I'm going to head out with my friends. I was like, awesome. <laughs> and then she left and I was like, cool. Uh-huh. And I was like, I'm not done. Yeah, yeah you, I was like, I was sh- you ever get to the place where you're so horny, your, your body's shaking? Yeah. <laughs> you're shaking, you're vibrating. And so I just, and, and we were young, I was in a bathing suit, 
And I just was like, oh, I'll take care of this real quick. Yeah. <laughs> Got out the chest deep water. Yeah. yeah. Banged one out. Yeah. Watched the moon. Uh-huh. Yeah. Now, is this in Florida? Yeah, it was the in Florida. Florida Ocean. Okay. Florida. Yeah. See, I did this in a tropical location. So where the, 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 the water's so clear, you can see all the little angelfish going by. Oh, let's just uh, let's just say that the the angelfish thought they were being fed. And they got, oh my re- God. And they got really like, excited. Uh, yeah. And that's how they got the little oh. mermaid. No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, and I was like, oh, cr-. now my well, wife was sick. with me. So my my wife is uh, what made this happen. Mm-hmm. And uh, she was so grossed out immediately, as was I. Of course. Yeah. And uh, But it was a fun experience. Yeah. I had one, my, one of the funnier ones is we were talking about soft water, me and Tom. Yeah. And oh, he yeah. was like, I was like, yeah, dude, soft water is creepy because it's so soft. It's so slippery. Mm-hmm. I, I, hate I, it. I said, I, I banged it. one out. By myself, or actually, I, I wasn't even by myself. I was with my wife. We were in the shower, yeah. and I was like, "Yo, feel it." And then I was we were playing around, <laughs> yeah. and then I just was like, hey, "Is it cool if I do this?" And she's like, "It's better that you do it than I do it." Yeah. And he goes, "That's so crazy. Where were you?" And I go, "I have no idea." Someone who has soft sh- water. We, yeah. we were yeah. together. Yeah. I don't know where we were. And he goes, "I have soft water." And I went, "We were at your house. Oh yeah, <laughs> we were at his house in his guest house." I went, oh, "That's right. Oh. You have very soft water. Yeah, soft water sucks. How, uh, how is Tom?" He's good. Dude, yeah. Is he going to be at the premiere? No. Why? What? Yeah. He's not. Are he's, you serious? He's got a book signing, I think. Oh. He is not going to be at your premiere. He's not going to be at my premiere. Oh, that and is so me, disappointing. Me, it's, 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 been a, it's been a big thing. It's wow. been a big thing. Wow. That is disappointing. As it it's, been, it's, it's, uh, it's been a big thing. He, I think he was planning on coming, and then he has a book premiere that he can't get out of, and or book his book's going into paperback, mm. and uh. he's got a signing in Austin. and and it's Trust me, it's been a big thing because I think he feels... I'm, I'm, I know he feels horrible, uh, Leanne. It was. It's been a big thing. Wow. Yeah, oh, that's a, a real thing. bummer, man. Yeah, I know. I know. Yeah, I, I definitely want him there. I didn't I know that. I wouldn't have brought it up. No, no, it, no I don't yeah. care. It's, I mean, people are going to notice it. Hey, well, yeah. you and, know, it's, and it's also something that people are going to notice and then probably bring up online. Well, you know, and we'll so be, you're like, you're you like, just got to oh, be honest with it. With I know. I know it's not the same, but you know, we'll be there. Yeah. yeah, we'll be there. So, yeah. I mean, you no, know, no. I'm yeah, you guys are going to be there. Yeah. Uh, yes. Well, you guys are my new best friends. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, we've got him here in studio, the machine, Burt Kreischer. Yeah. Yep. yeah. Tomorrow night's the big uh, Hollywood premiere. We've been giving away uh, t- tickets and passes for people to go to the premiere. Yeah. And one of the questions is, um, is Mark Hamill going to be there? Uh, Yeah. He'll be there? Yeah, he'll be there. Oh, is, there is there any chance that we can meet him? 100%. 100%. Hell There's yeah, a list. There's a list of... Uh, I, don't, I don't. I don't want him to sign wait, anything. I know how people. Need, get away. This is what you need. Do, do, he's not, I'm, I'm doubt he's signing anything. He got he attacked by people trying to get. Yeah, him yeah. yeah. Right. I know that sucks. Yeah. He's. I'm good at. Uh, I, I say. I'm saying this as if I'm a. But I'm good at talking to the right person to get him to say hi. Yeah. Like there's there, like sometimes people go about it the wrong way. Yeah. And I've watched that happen. Mm. And yeah. I I can definitely like it's a short list. I can't walk him around and say hi to everyone. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I I got you. I got you. Are you are you saying that to everybody? I, okay. uh, no, I'm not. Secret time? I'm telling a lot of people he's not coming. Oh, <laughs> yeah. oh that's a good idea. Yeah, because, awesome. because, yeah. because that's everyone's go-to. They want to meet yeah. Mark Hamill. Sure. But, but I, I figured then... If I think he's going to come in on the DL. Like, yeah. I don't think he's oh, going to okay. do the red carpet. Oh, okay. I, oh, really? I think, yeah, he, that the last thing, Carrie Fisher's memorial thing, yeah. I think they really lit him up. Like, the, the paparazzi and everything. Uh, and it kind of spooked him. He's like, him. he's like, hey, that was cool wow. when I was younger, but I'm not that guy anymore. Yeah. Like, I just want to do some work. Yeah. And, like, and so... I, you know, it's it's, it's overwhelming who he is to yeah. everyone. Uh-huh. Yeah, and so so what was uh what was it like the first time you met him? Like was it uh like because you know obviously you were a Star Wars guy. Yeah. Everybody's a Star Everyone's Wars, a Star Wars, Wars right? Guy. Like and, and yeah, it's Luke Skywalker. We but were, now he's talking about being in your movie. Yeah, like what was that first like face to face meeting like? Uh, it was great. We were on a private jet going to Serbia. Oh my yeah. god, yeah. that yeah. video yeah. was incredible. And I, and I did a we, I, I said Mark it's really nice to meet you in person. I said you know I'm gonna I'm so just so you know I'm, I can be a lot. So, like, because I have to, my wife always tells me, yeah. let everyone know you cast a large wake. Like, you're, you mm. can overwhelm yeah. people with your energy. I said, I'm a lot. My wife also told me, uh, pack your own little baby whiskeys and don't mm. let him see him drink. Let, don't let him see you drink the way you drink on a plane. Because uh, you yeah. may scare him off yeah. and he may be like, this guy's got a problem. All right. <laughs> it's, it's, it was a 17 hour flight to Serbia. Yeah. yeah. Oh my in, a, God. in a private jet. We're in a little tube. Oh my wow. God. And so I was like, I'm going to be drinking like a fish. <laughs> and so I said, it's very nice to meet you. I, we're, I listen, I'm, I shoot promos a lot. I'm really big on Instagram. He's like, I'm big on social media too. I said, well, I'm going to do a promo to announce the movie. Here's my idea. And he goes, just tell me where to be. Yeah. I said, all I need you to do is walk onto the plane and we'll let you know when to start walking. So we did it in one take, <laughs> one take. 
I go, hey, I'm so excited I'm going to Serbia, shoot my movie, The Machine, and with me is my co-star playing my dad. It's Mark Hamill, everybody. And he just goes, get in the plane, big boy. And oh, gets yeah, on the yeah, plane. Yeah, yeah. And gets on the plane. <laughs> we did not do He buckled up. Wow. He was like, I'm done. We got it. And I'm like, yeah. Dude, lock the gates? I don't know. Like, <laughs> and so, and so uh, but he was awesome. And then on that plane, I was like, I was like, hey, man, you know, we got a while, so yeah. I'm going to geek out. You ready? Mm-hmm. And he was like, I'm ready. And I, was, I said something about, I said, so there was a, said something about C-3PO, and he goes, yeah, that guy, I knew that guy. And I said, what do you mean that guy? Mm-hmm. He goes, the guy that played C-3PO. I go, what? What are you talking about? It was a robot. Anthony <laughs> Daniel, yeah. And he goes, no, it was a person, Anthony. Yeah, Daniel. right, yeah. yeah. I go, there was a person in C-3PO? <laughs> yeah. And he was like, are, are you I'm being a Star Wars <laughs> fan, could you yeah. be? Well, goes, it was probably refreshing to yeah. talk to That's somebody so on that funny. level. <laughs> yeah. You know what I mean? On a very simple level. And then he goes, I'm about to blow your mind. Yeah. You know there was someone inside R2-D2. R2-D2. And I went, yeah. the guy there too. was someone inside them? And he goes, what did you think they were? I said, I thought yeah. they were robots. And right. he goes, it was 1977. You right. think we yeah. had the budget to build yeah. robots? And I went, yeah. I never thought of that. Yeah. Right. And then he walked through and he gave me <laughs> the best behind the scenes stories telling you about Harrison, telling you about George, wow. telling you about Carrie, That's telling awesome. you about wow. just all of it. It was like, he's That's so, so cool. good. The my favorite story of all of this. And stop me if, I, if I've told you this. This is my favorite story. So the first night we go to dinner with my co star, Eva Babich, and mm-hmm. she is plays the villain. And it's the whole group, but me, her, and Mark are all sitting next to each other. And she, Mark's not, he's on his way there. And she goes, hey, whatever you do, do not bring up Star Wars. <laughs> I said, well, Eva, it's, it's kind of his thing. Yeah. Yeah. She goes, no, 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 just don't bring it up. I haven't seen the movie. It wasn't very big. And I go, it's, it was really big. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, it was kind, it was kind, of, kind of a really big deal, yeah. Oh, that's yeah. Funny. And she, so Mark sits down, and I go, hey, Mark. Eva's a huge Star Wars fan, yeah. and her eyes light up, yeah. and she goes, oh, yes, I love anything where there's a good guy, bad guy story is my thing. And I go, I go, Eva, who's your favorite character in Star Wars? And you can't oh say Mark. God. And yeah. you can't say Mark. And she goes, oh, probably Chewbacca? And I, I go, oh, my God, she's this great Mark. She does a great. Chewbacca impression? <laughs> Can you do your Chewbacca impression? She goes, ah, oh, hello, I am Chewbacca. It's so nice to meet you. Uh, that's so funny. Dude, we also taught her, this is the, okay, this is my the hardest I've ever laughed. So she, I hung out with her a lot. She's one of the funniest human beings, and she has never tries to be funny. Never tries to be funny, just yeah. very dry. Uh-huh. We taught her these nuts. Okay. Oh, yeah. So we were like, so like, we're like, yo, you just say to someone, yo, can you pass me D's? And they're like, what D's? What? And they go, D's nuts. <laughs> and then she goes, I don't get it. And I, I, said, I said, it's a joke. It's yeah. like you say, what well, you're trying to. It's just a joke. It's funny. She's like, so you just say, give me D's. <laughs> and I go, yeah. And then I go, D's nuts. And I go, yeah. Say D's nuts. She goes, okay. <laughs> so we're sitting in the tent, and Mark walks in. And she goes, hey, Mark, don't sit on these. And he goes, huh? These? And she goes, these nuts. <laughs> now, Mark is 75. He's never yeah, heard yeah. this joke. He's like, what's that mean? She yeah. goes, I don't know. <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be funny. He goes, it's not funny. She goes, I don't think so either. Uh. She, was, she, is the, she was a huge part of the story of this movie, too. Yeah. Because we found out one day. She was like, "We were. I, I don't. Want, I don't, I don't want to spoil the movie. I'm just. I, 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 you'll. I, right. When the movie comes out, I'll come back in yeah. and yeah. I'll tell you the funniest story. The funniest story that changed the way we we made the arc of this movie. Oh wow! Oh, oh yeah. it was so funny that it like it became a thing that we went. What if we did this? Because she would when she would say things or do things, she was not trying to be like. I, I want to tell you about the movie, mm-hmm. but like, she was just so very real." And those people are so precious because they're not trying to be funny, mm-hmm. yeah. which makes them 10 million times funnier. Yeah. Hey, so when this movie comes out, don't become like Joe Coy. Don't become like such a big deal where you forget who your friends are. Oh, yeah. did he? Did he? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Do, <laughs> really? do you think I hear from Joe anymore? No. No. Oh, wow. No, I don't hear from Joe anymore. Wow, and you wear his swag. Yeah. yeah. Right. It's all she owns. Sam might hear from. Yeah. I don't think I she live owns in another his yeah. 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 I mean, and, like, Joe, like, sends people to bring swag to us yeah um <laughs> and then i mean everything was when i got all emotional and watching that, uh, that clip from rachel hollis yeah i did send you a text and you never responded to it oh, uh, oh I, I, I and i really put myself out there too Damn. i'll yeah. read it to you hold on, hold on. I'll, I'll, I'll read, read it, it. To, i'll read it too so you can feel really bad about it are you gonna find it hold on you yeah. responded to your response and then i responded to your response <laughs> no oh. i texted yeah. you i said this uh, is awesome can you put sad this. music on yeah i'm so effing happy for you and proud of you 
You deserve all of it. Thank you so much for being the person you are. And then you sent the clip. Yeah. That's and then, to reference what I just watched. Mm -hmm. And then you wrote. Okay, that was three wrote, days later. Wow. My, my DMs have been yeah. absolutely. I'm my, sure. My, my, I'm, and my, my texts have been insane lately. Mm -hmm. And I'm uh, and I and I'm really bad at replying to people. <laughs> no, you're good. I get anxiety. You know, so, I mean, secret time? See, oh, secret time. Yeah, oh yeah. secret time. Let me make sure the mics are really hot. Mm -hmm. So the, <laughs> okay. the lady you met in there, Victoria. Yeah. So mm -hmm. like, I'm not good. I get nervous replying to people. Yeah. Like, I don't know what to say. Yeah. So like, I just was like, I, we were sitting in the car one time and, and I had a text from like a famous person. And I was like, what am I supposed to say? And then Victoria is like young, attractive, into social media. She knows, but she's more like a texter. She grew up texting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. She just goes, give me the phone. And then sends an emoji and is like, there. And I go, you did that so quick. She goes, yeah, yeah, just, you don't need to get into it. And I went, can you just do all my DMs? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Dude, uh. Nice. The A-list celebrities that she texts with, you know who she was texting with this morning? Who? Brooks Kepka. Oh, yeah? Just won the PGA Championship. Yeah, yeah. Mm, yeah. She's texting with him from my phone like it's me. Oh. <laughs> See, that's and, when I know you made it. And it was so cool. Yeah, it was awesome. So, it, I mean, like, I love when she's yeah, me because it it's, cool. it, it's yeah. so, she's so much better at being me. All right, she so what she you're saying is I got blown up by two people. <laughs> I got blown oh, no, 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 no. Bert. Bert. She was at a wedding. She was at a wedding. She was at a wedding. Yeah. Bert and by Victoria. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Yeah. I'm just, I get, no. I get nervous replying to people in text. Like, yeah. Rogan, you know how stressful it is when he texts you? And then he texts mm. you this thing of this thing that maybe yeah. you don't find funny that he, oh, he yeah. does. Mm. Yeah. And then you're like, great one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, what do you say? Yeah, yeah. those vaccines do yeah. the horrible. Yeah. Yeah. And, I, and, I, and, I, and I'm joking about Joe. Uh, about Joe. Joe's mm -hmm. still a great guy to us and mm -hmm. super kind. And you know, I, I can imagine yeah. like two people who are, you know, still as genuine now as they were before. Mm -hmm. They had their own movies about yeah. their lives. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but, he's, uh, he's a great guy. I am super happy for you. I'm mega proud of you. And, um, you know, thank again, seriously, thank you for being you. Oh, like I, I, you. I do look to you, um, and I go, man, I need to be more, not all the way. Cause you're a little crazy. I am a little crazy. I got to be more like that guy. Yeah. I'm throwing up in my throat in the middle of the night and breathing <laughs> into my lungs. You don't oh, look yeah, just yeah. like me. Yeah. <laughs> no. yeah. That's why I got to sleep on your side. It's I a machine, everybody. <laughs> Burt Kreischer. Hey! Hey! You'll see his movie, The Machine, in theaters this weekend. Also, his uh, stand-up special, his fifth one, Razzle Dazzle. Yes. It's on Netflix. He's got his Tops Off World Tour, but you can find tickets for that, BurtBurtBurt.com. And, of course, the uh, the Burt cast, Two Bears, One Cave, his uh, YouTube cooking show, Something's Burning. You can find all of those. Dude, always awesome to see you, man. Thank you, guys. Hey. You guys are like family to me, and I swear to God. Thank you so much for your support. It, it's not lost on me. You no. know that. Yeah, it's no. not lost on no. me. No. You're the best. We're looking forward to tomorrow, man. It's going to be fun. So Hell let's, yeah. Let's yeah. bang it out of the park. Oh, let's yeah. get Coke. Let's you go. only live once. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs>